We're missing one achievement, I guess. Exposing the dark side of the black market. Congratulations on clearing the game. You are now one of the black market's official administrators. Magician of the cliff. Defeat every boss at the secret heaven cliff. The cliff is a place where she'll have few rivals. Or so she thought. Shopping at the lake. Defeat every boss at the misty lake. Opening a market above a lake isn't normal, right? Well, it is if you want to sell fish. Dice have been cast. Defeat every boss at the sign of Kawara. Stacking stones as a fun pastime is something that only a chosen few are capable of. The Kia Magician. Defeat every boss at the Moria Shrine. They were lamenting that their donation box is stuffed full of bullet money. Black Market Mountain. Defeat every boss at the Yoka Mountain. The Yoka Mountain is apparently an active volcano. They hope they are prepared for natural disasters. A drink at the mine. Defeat every boss at the Rainbow Dragon Cave. Holding a banquet in a place with such little air. Definitely don't try this at home. Sticking with regular markets to the utmost. Defeat Chimata, thank you. She perhaps the only person who isn't enjoying the black markets. That's kind of sad. King of the black market. Defeat every boss. Now Marisa is the king of the black market. There's nothing left to be afraid of. Hidden skirt pockets. Unlock every equipment slot. You'd think you'd be able to carry tons of cards at once. Aren't they heavier than you'd think that you'd expect? Go on of the black market. Collect every card. Excellently done. You are now the black market's god. It was tough, wasn't it? Good work out there. Question marks. Clear question marks. Well, it's time to say goodbye to some things like this and also this. Probably want Tay back, knowing myself. Although maybe not currently. What am I thinking about? Who am I thinking about? I'm thinking about something very specific. Uh, where is... There she is. Oh, that works out perfectly. It's either this or Tanaki, but... Let's see... How this is going. Seed cushions. Oh hey, long time no see. I wonder how many waves this is. We have big wolves, so we want lives to possibly convert into... Uh, so this is how it's gonna go. It's gonna be one wave from stage one and then a boss from... No. Yes, and then a boss from stage one. And a wave from stage two and a boss from stage two. Because if so, then this is possibly a very fun mode. And a good reward for beating the game.
But it also means you want to get money from bosses. For real, for real, for once. Almost forgot that the inner cards do not affect enemies. I'm kind of sad the seat cushions aren't homing, because that's what they normally do, right? That feels like cheating. Takazagi Hibo. Spire stage 2 bosses go, she exists. Your spell card name was not translated. Why? I wonder why. Oh, I have very little money. Well, I'm glad it's not my favorite pattern. Yeah, I really should be making money when I can. Kind of forgot that this was how this game worked. That you actually want to make money happen. Still alive. That is free lives. Always thought Kutaka was one of the easier bosses of stage three. Yes, I'm lucky. I'm glad it's not too much. But I still got hit, which made me more powerful. I'm not making any money off this. I'm not playing this the way it's supposed to be played. Did you not combine two things for stage 4? Why? I mean, I'm not complaining. And it's still decently hard. Because yellow. How about lives? Well, you're giving me two lives. You're giving me one life. But I don't have any money. Is it time for the boss? Or is there gonna be another wave? But it is a boss. was very obvious that it would be a boss. I'm just wondering if we're gonna have another stage. I guess we do. I guess we would. I messed this up. 
My whole strategy ruined. That still works. Yeah, it's not over. I mean, it's gonna be over. I'm gonna die horribly. But that's why I'm not getting any money, because I didn't bring you. Okay, they're not combining things. Just aren't. Let's see if we can't make some money for the final boss. Watch it be, mummy, sir. Just to rub it in. Actually, I probably know mummy, sir, the best. Because of what happened. And chances of dying are probably higher against not mummy, sir. Wow, I can't afford anything. Also, we continue on the other side. <laughs> I fought you once, I think. And deemed you easy. This is my payment for that. This is the attack where I just said, keep calm and observe. And it works. I'm kind of worried you are still giving me a choice to do things. Are you forcing me into fighting Chimata at the end of this? I'm kind of hoping I'm not gonna have to fight Takana. But I'm assuming she would have been in stage 4. Uh, 5. Just for the whirlwind attack. For no other reason than that. You give me that, but you don't give me anything to buy. I'm not happy. I'm so not happy.
finished the black market marathon. How fitting for Mami Sir to be my final, 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 final boss. We had to put it to the test if I had learned how to fight her. Well, at least I did it on my first try. Also, we are actually we actually ran low on funds at the end, a little bit. We were up at six thousand and more at some point. Also, somehow, despite all the things we did, oh, I did, hasn't been two hours. But we are done here. We have achieved all that can be achieved. Finished the black market marathon. Cleared the Lunar Rainbow Black Market. Dang, that's some powerful focus. Hats off to you. I enjoyed this game quite a lot. There were some lows. The first time entering the fourth market was definitely a learning experience. Hats off to Koishi for being the thing that eventually gave me the motivation to defeat it. And the Vampire Fang giving me the strength to completely destroy it in the end. Yokai Mountain fell completely to Junko, but the stage also was probably one of the easiest. I think the stages, the waves in stage four, uh, in stage five and six, are much easier than the ones in four and three. I just don't like the spirit enemies, I guess, and the patterns they use. And the Rainbow Dragon Cave include included mummy, so. I'm kind of kicking myself for doing what I did with her instead of just going immediately at her, at her through a regular playthrough. I think it would have been much faster, considering I did it today on my second try. No comment on Chimata. She's not really much of a threat, I would say. Her patterns are very slow. The most dangerous of her patterns would probably be her non-spell, because I always dislike those, but I think it is also slower and easier than they were on normal mode and unconnected marketeers. And then there were Nitori and Takane who... Well, Takane and her whirlwinds would have been trouble. They could have made me time out that one attack under some circumstances. I'm disappointed in Momo Yoda. Like, what happened? What happened to her? She felt very much like a joke. Well, I guess in terms of replayability, the challenge market is definitely here and there's definitely lots of cards that can be equipped and combined to get some fun out of this game. I'm pretty sure this is not my last time playing this game. I even have at least one idea of something that I can still record for it. But whether I do that or not, doesn't really matter. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Zon, for making. Have a nice day. Goodbye.